Hi everyone, my name is Lucy. Welcome to my channel, Simple Sunday Afternoons. If you are returning subscribers, thanks for coming back. And if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. And you are invited to subscribe right after this video. Today's video is about pork chops. Yes, again, I have plenty of recipes of pork chops. And it was not my intention to release this video because I just made the pork chops like I would do every day of the week. But the pork chops came out so delicious and so tender that I decided to release the video. I hope you like this recipe and that you subscribe at the end of this video. Thanks for watching and please join me in my kitchen to make these delicious pork chops. this recipe there's no rules. I'm giving you the ingredients I used in these pork chops as an idea on how you can prepare yours. I'm preparing 10 pork chops and I let them marinate overnight with salt, pepper and a little bit of cayenne pepper. Cut in bite-sized pieces two potatoes and these are medium potatoes. Diced one cubanero pepper and you can use green bell pepper also. One large onion, diced in small little pieces. One can of eight ounces of tomato sauce. About four to five garlic cloves and I mash them. One half of a cup of sofrito. And this sofrito has culantro, it has oregano, it also has 8 to 10 mini sweet peppers. You can add basil, thyme, rosemary, whatever you have in your kitchen. I'm using a bunch of cilantro. I'm using about one half of a cup, more or less, and one quarter of a cup or 60 milliliters of olive oil. These are my main ingredients, so let's start cooking. I'm going to fry the pork chops in a deep frying pan in the quarter of a cup of olive oil. And I'm going to try to put all of the pork chops in the same pot and fry them at the same time. I'm going to wait until one side is completely brown to turn the pork chops to the other side to fry. I waited to the olive oil to be completely hot in high temperature. Once I placed the pork chops in the pan, then I lowered the temperature to medium temperature. Once the first side of the pork chops is fried and completely brown, then I turned to the other side. And once the pork chops are completely fried in both sides, then I add the potatoes. And I'm going to cover the pan and wait for, for a couple minutes, maybe five minutes, until the potatoes start getting tender. Then I uncover and add the onions. Now saute the onions together with the green pepper. As I mentioned, I'm using cubanero pepper, which is the long green pepper, but you can use a green bell pepper or a red bell pepper. Add the garlic, 
and the garlic all depends if you like garlic or don't if you like garlic you can add five to six garlic cloves if you don't then don't add garlic I'm adding right now the sofrito mix I'm making sure all the pork chops have some of the ingredients that I just placed in the pan. Then I'm going to cover once again and let it simmer for 8 to 10 minutes. Uncover the pan once again and this time we're going to add the tomato sauce over the pork chops. And I'm going to turn every pork chop so it can grab the flavors of the tomato sauce together with the herbs and spices. Then I'm going to sprinkle the cilantro leaves. I'm going to cover once again and I'm going to lower the stove to the lowest temperature it has, which is the low or the simmer. Let it steam for about 30 minutes. Now the pork chops are ready to be served. These pork chops are very tender and delicious. You can serve them over rice, with mashed potatoes or potato salad, with a green salad on the side. Buen provecho! I hope you like this recipe. If you like this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel so I can see you soon. Buen provecho and thanks for watching.